Yo, what's up, what's good? It's quite doing how you feel, man. It's your boy D-Batch on another bang ass man. You already know what it is. Today is random Tuesday, number 38. Today we got video show federal agents raiding Sean D. Combs home. Now, this is buzzing right now. Oh, first of all, before we get started, I just want to uh, give my condolences to everybody that lost their lives. Um, due to the Maryland, the, uh, the Baltimore bridge collapsing. That was very, very devastating to watch, man. Um, it turns out these two events happened in the same day. Um, but yeah, man, praise out to the families. Um, that's a scary, that's a real scary thing, man. Like, I don't like bridges. I, I get anxious every time I get on bridges, man. Every time we, it's scary, man. You just don't know, man. It's a very, very touchy subject, man. And, um, I just want to give my condolences to everybody that lost their lives. Um, and that are lost due to the bridge collapse. And whoever lives in Maryland, I'm praying for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's been in the, that's being affected by the situation. Um, I'm gonna pray for y'all because that's that's real tough. But anyway, yo, Diddy is some trouble, man. Diddy is it, it, looking like Diddy's done for. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not looking good for for, for brother Diddy. Um, they raided his house. He wasn't even at the crib. Uh, his sons were, but he wasn't. And I seen a video of him pacing back and forth after the, the thing happened, after it happened. So. I don't know, man. We finna hop into it. We about to see what CNN said about it. Leave the original video link description down below. Told y'all want to check it out on your own time. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Deep Squad. Um, you know we have a lot of fun over here. You know, I will be dropping um, a wrestling vlog on Thursday. Uh, I got to cut it in half and then make it two videos. So I'm gonna drop one this week. I'm gonna drop the other one next week. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's hop into it. Is the Department of Homeland Security has just confirmed to CNN? that federal law enforcement agents have raided they properties owned by musician and producer Sean right? Diddy this Combs. Is serious. Let's bring in CNN security correspondent Josh Campbell and CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. Josh, uh, let me start with you. What do these uh, raids by federal agents in multiple locations tell you about the seriousness of this investigation? Yeah, Wolf, a very significant development here, seeing this law enforcement action taking place. I'll uh, point out, just to be clear at the outset, we don't know that Sean Diddy Combs himself is the subject or target of a federal investigation. So it's just worth pointing that out at this yeah. hour. But what we do know is that two properties associated with him, uh, we saw the feds descend on those properties. We saw an aerial footage, uh, federal agents both here in the Los Angeles area as well as in uh, Miami at those residences. Now, the Department of Homeland Security, their uh, what's called H. Oh, Diddy is security in some, some deep stuff, bro. And it's like you just never know because Diddy just be acting strange sometimes, bro. I know y'all be trying to, I know y'all be watching these interviews he be doing. And it's just, he be just acting strange, bro. Like, I be seeing these videos on TikTok and everything, like him looking nervous. It's like he'd see, like he, it's like he feels something coming or something, like something coming for him. Like, I don't know. He just looked very paranoid. Like, it's just, it's weird, bro. It's weird, dog. I know I ain't the only one that's looking at it like that. I know uh, some of y'all at home is getting where I'm coming from, bro. This is, this is, like, that's just weird, bro. Gations gave CNN a statement. I'll read you part of, part of that, that, of that when asked about, about, about what this activity, activity is. They say that earlier today, today HSI, HSI New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI, HSI Los Angeles, HSI, Angeles, HSI, HSI Miami, and our, and our local law enforcement partners. partners. That is it, confirming that they are conducting what they're, they're deeming law enforcement action, which could uh, indicate uh, search warrants being conducted there, uh, could indicate arrests being conducted. We just don't know at this hour specifically what that law enforcement Enforcement action is. is. It is worth pointing out, though, that Combs himself obviously has faced uh, significant legal woes in recent months. I'll give you just a, a, a kind of high, the highlights of what uh, actually occurred uh, in November. He was sued for rape and abuse by a former partner. That settled, uh, that lawsuit was then settled very quickly. A lot of people involved. Diddy, um, I mean Diddy, uh, Cuddy, Kid Cuddy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That had people like ready to expose some stuff, bro. I ain't lying, bro. That that situation, Dell. It's not making. It's not letting. It's not. It's not. It's not making him look good, bro. Any better than what he already going through. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. It looked like he done for. I don't know. These 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 folks ain't playing. These folks is not playing. They got all the SWAT members, all the soldiers on the premises. It is not a joke. It is not a drill. <laughs> Diddy is a wanted man. <laughs> you know, whatever God we did, I ain't look. They ain't looking for this man, bro. 
quickly, quickly but, in but in December, he faced, he faced sexual assault allegations, allegations in a complaint filed in the Southern, in the Southern District, District of New York. The suit, the suit was brought by a woman referred to as Jane Doe, Doe who said that uh, she was 17 at the time when these allegations uh, took place and back in 2003. Uh, he was accused of sex trafficking and gang rape, among other allegations, also in that suit naming two of his associates. Of course, Combs denied any wrongdoing there. And then just last month, a former employee of Combs filed a suit also uh, in the state of New York accusing him of sexual assault, of sexual harassment, and, quote, grooming. That former employee stated that he had worked for Combs between 2022 and 2023. Among those allegations, this former employee, a male employee, said that Combs did not compensate him for his music production work and forced him to procure and interact with sex workers, threatened him with serving alcoholic beverages laced with drugs to guests at parties at Combs' home. And then uh, Combs' uh, son, Sean Justin Combs, or uh, his son, Justin Combs, was also, also accused of soliciting prostitutes and underage girls at his father. Oh, Lord, bro. It's like the whole family. It's like, because they, they had him like his suspects as well, his sons. And they were saying that they was investigating. They, oh, my God. And you know they, they got to know what's going on. Like, it's like, look who their dad is. There's no way that they're not surrounded by it. Like, he, like, I feel like the, the person that Diddy is, like, the way he be acting, he, he couldn't even hide it if he wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I know they seen at least a piece of what's going on around. So, it's like, if they had something to, to do with it, I wouldn't even be surprised. Because I feel like they've been exposed to stuff like that since birth. Or since they could, they were able to talk, bro. I could be wrong, but that's, hey, I don't know, bro. That's just looking crazy, bro. It's looking crazy. I, like, there's no way they don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because they got their they sisters out of there. You know what I'm saying? They, you know? They, damn, man. There's homes. There's homes. Again, the Combs, the Combs have denied any wrongdoing, but just a series of allegations that we've seen taking place. Final point, Wolf, I'll note, is that while we don't know the specific allegations or why the feds are at these residences, it is worth pointing out the agency that is conducting this law enforcement activity. It's not the FBI. It's not the DEA or the ATF. This is HSI, Homeland Security Investigations. For those unfamiliar, this is an agency that has long been the forefront specifically at human trafficking investigations. So, although we don't have the specifics yet uh, we're starting to, to you know we, we can glean just based on which agency has the lead the direction this might go uh, but again we don't yet know that Combs himself was the target of the investigation wolf we do know at the end of this hour that federal agents were at two of his homes both here in los angeles and in florida wolf. yeah important point so joey jackson let me repeat we don't know if sean diddy Combs himself is under investigation but clearly joey it's not good if your homes are actually being raided it's not, bro. No, it's, no, not, it's not, Wolf. And I, and I think, uh, you know, you know whatever, whatever conclusions can be drawn remain to be seen, right? right? There's, There's not an indictment, indictment that we're talking about. about. That, means that means that we're not speaking of a grand jury having rendered a, having rendered a conclusion, conclusion. Not, as not as to guilt. That's not what grand jurors do, but as to reason to believe that a crime was committed and he committed them. Having said that, whenever you have a raid and an investigation, these things need to be really predicated upon, right? The precursor for this to happen. Happen, would, would be some, some probable, probable cause. cause. Uh, what, is what is that probable cause? cause? We, don't we don't know. But let's, but let's go, go back, back to what Josh Campbell talked about, which are those various lawsuits. lawsuits. Now, lawsuits, now, lawsuits are, are civil actions, actions in nature. They're, they're not criminal, criminal at all. But what, but what they, they do is, is they give authorities authority some guidelines and guideposts with respect to alleged conduct that was engaged in with regard to who it was engaged in, what activities there were, what it involved. And so that, if there's an investigation, serve as a source of plentiful information. information. That, that information could be further investigated, right, by certainly uh, uh, this, this Homeland Security Agency. agency. And, and as a result of that, they can work with their local law enforcement partners. partners. What, does what does that mean? mean? It, means it means that they, they collectively law enforcement try to determine whether there's reason to believe that crimes were committed and, you know, were those crimes carried out and associated in any way we don't know, you know, with Sean Combs and so that, that remains to be seen, seen. but, but before, before authorities, authorities will can get into the home or property of anyone, you have to, you have to establish, establish some, some, some firm basis to do that. To do that. And, that and that is... Was I just falling asleep? Did I just close my eyes? No, mommy, y'all. I'm like, I'm, I'm in the conversation sometimes. I was, bro, that's crazy. I, 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 I hope I won't do it all, bro.
I just felt like I closed my eyes for a second. What, what at least we can conclude that they had reason to believe that there were crimes involving sex trafficking, apparently, and, and that these areas potentially can give more information with respect to the specifics. And I think they would be looking for for computer devices and other devices, which would seem to indicate or give. Surprised they didn't show. Uh, now that would. They, they didn't even show the clip of their of her sons of their sons with in uh, handcuffs. That's really surprising. That's the first clip I seen online. Like, yeah, and I know that's the the clip that we like the most of us seen. Um, but yeah, they just basically talking about it, like you know how crazy it is and how much stuff that he's uh, accused of and 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 uh, charged with. You know what I'm saying? Man, Diddy is just some deep stuff. Like I'm saying, it's not looking good. I don't, it's not even. And it's like this, like the stuff that he got going on is affecting other people, bro. That's why it's getting out of hand. Like him and his sons. The whole family, dog. The whole family, bro. They trying to take down the whole family at this point, or maybe just take down Diddy. And, and, and but it's just it's still making it look bad for everybody, like because it's like you know Diddy could involve other people, like you know what I'm saying. Like he could involve his sons. His sons probably got something to do with everything. You know they talking about this. His sons was doing like prostitution stuff. I said, oh my god. Man, that's all I can say about this, man. It's, it's, we're going to have to see what happens. Because they, dog, they, they ain't playing, dog. Look at, the, look, at the, look at the cars. Like, they got trucks and they about to bring the tanks out. Like, dog, golly. Hey, man. I guess it's as good as mine, dog. <laughs> Glad to see, man. Brother Diddy look like he done for. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how many times I got to say that. Anyway, y'all. That includes another video of Random Tuesday. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Same time next week. Um, any uh, requests for the next video, be sure to drop it in the comment section. I'll be sure to look at it soon. Um, and that might be the next video for Random Tuesday. But other than that, man, appreciate all y'all love. Y'all, man. Diva's out.